What's going on, guys? And welcome to my review of Hellboy and the BRPD 1954 for the first story that basically I've chosen to review, and that is The Unreasoning Beast. So basically, the whole gist of this um, one-shot story is basically Hellboy and his partner. I forgot her name, but uh, yeah, Hellboy and his partner go to Baltimore, right? They go to Baltimore because uh, there's been reports, basically... Uh, I, think, I think the guy's name is, like, Chris or something. So, basically, he reports that his brother's monkey uh, has basically been haunting him. So, basically, it's a haunting in his house. And uh, he wants to know the reasons why. He doesn't know why. So, he calls the BRPD. They send Hellboy and his partner. So, yeah. Basically, when they do uh, come in, uh, basically, when they do come in, um, he tells them what's been going on. He says um, that first, uh, he, he talks about his brother's death. He says, uh, he basically uh, tells him that um, it was a gas leak. He smoked gas a couple of times when he come visit him. But then his house went up in flames. And then the couple of times, or basically the couple of encounters that he's had, is one in his kitchen, the second time pulling in his driveway. And uh, I think it was like the third time when he was working on his car in the, in the garage and the monkey appeared. And I think a couple more times in his bedroom. So basically, um, his mother uh, talks about the fevers that her son uh, has been having and stuff like that. It's been hard for him to sleep ever since the monkey died. And we learn later that the monkey is not really possessing him, but um, in a way, just a part of him, basically, like inside of him. So, yeah, we get this kind of kind of clue that uh, Thomas's wife had a little bit more feelings for Robert as uh, as a panel with her basically a sad look on her face, her nails in her mouth, and basically saying, oh, Robert. So basically, Hellboy stays on the couch while his partner Susan actually goes around and investigates a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so she touches a gas container, and that gas container, she has a vision of basically what the monkey actually saw, or not really the monkey, basically... I guess, I don't really know how her powers work. This is my first introduction to her character. But basically, I guess the situation where the gas, uh, got the gasoline container was in, she sees everything that happens. So basically, Thomas kills Robert because he finds out he's been sleeping with his wife. And uh, the monkey sees, all, sees uh, every single moment of it. And he basically puts his house on fire. So then as Susan wakes up, she tells Hellboy. Hellboy actually suspect, suspected that um, Thomas's wife was having an affair. So then they reach into the bathroom, no, well, to the bedroom, where uh, Thomas is actually killed by the monkey. And then the monkey goes uh, basically back into his son's body. And um, his mom actually sends him away to London. So, yeah, that was the unreasoning beast. And so we're going to go into first uh, my review on the artwork. Now, the artwork is very solid. This is an artwork I haven't seen before. This is uh, the artwork was by the artwork was by Patrick Reynolds. And so, yeah, the artwork by Patrick Reynolds is actually is very amazing. Um, I do like it. Not as much as I like the art and uh, the mirror. But, um. Yeah, uh, as I said in uh, my other video before this little prelude video, uh, is that it's not that the artwork in it of itself for each of these stories can stand on their own. They actually can. It's just that I have a preference for the mirror because it reminds me of actually Mike Mignola's artwork. So yeah, the artwork was solid. Um, I really love how he drew Hellboy, basically. Um, though his other arm... His uh, left arm isn't as skinny as, I don't know, it kind of looks when uh, Mike uh, Mignola actually draws it. Just like looking on the cover in of itself. So yeah, the artwork was good. The character designs were very good. Um, how Patrick Reynolds drew the facial expressions for, uh, for actually all the characters. Basically showing the emotional weight um, of basically Thomas's wife, Thomas's anger against his brother when he uh, talks about uh, his brother's monkey, when he talks about Robert's monkey, and actually when he kills Robert's monkey as well. Even the facial expression on the monkey itself is actually very amazing. And of course, when Susan has that realization 
that Robert did kill Thomas, that was basically good as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is the review for The Unreasoning Beast Part 1 of our Hellboy in the BRPD 1954 review. Now, stay in tune, guys, because coming up this Sunday or just, like, later in the week, I'm thinking about just cranking these videos out. We will talk about the next uh, actual story, which is Black Sun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.